Many people are shopping for the holiday, and that includes finding that perfect turkey. Uh, well, yeah, however, though, <laughs> the way you're planning to prepare that turkey could bring some unexpected dangers. CBS 17's Darren Todd shows us firsthand how one wrong decision can cause a holiday emergency. Take a look at this video. These are firefighters demonstrating what not to do at your home when frying a turkey. State Insurance Commissioner Mike Causey says it's important to know what you're doing so you don't hurt yourself or others. When it comes to these uh, turkey fires, that's a huge cause of fires because so many people don't follow the safety instructions. You never want to do a turkey fire inside your house, and you certainly don't want to have it on your deck right close to your house. The first thing you want to do is make sure the turkey is fully thawed out. Frozen or partially frozen turkeys will cause hot oil to splatter or produce hot steam. Next, use extreme caution when cooking with oil. Don't overheat the cooking oil beyond its cooking temperature, which is 375 degrees. And also, don't use a turkey fryer under garages, decks, porches, or barns. We've had people end up in the Chapel Hill Burn Center because they uh, were trying to move a turkey fire and, and that hot grease splashed on, on their skin. According to the fire marshal's office, unattended cooking is the number one cause of house fires and injuries in the United States. However, for those who still want to fry their turkey, there are some less dangerous options. They've got air dryers, uh, you've got the conventional oven method, and you can also buy your turkey already prepared, and you don't have to worry about it. In Raleigh, Darren Todd, CBS 17 News.